So by this point, I'm pretty sure everybody here has seen the video because, uh, well, over a million and a half people already have seen NVIDIA's upcoming GeForce RTX 3080 absolutely demolishing the GeForce RTX 2080 Ti in Doom Eternal, delivering over 150 FPS at the 4K resolution with all quality and image settings maxed out. Well, it looks like NVIDIA shared even more performance metrics for its next generation flagship, and it looks like a whole different beast when compared to the last generation RTX 2080 Ti. Now, during the unveil, Jensen only shared performance metrics and percentages versus the previous generation of cards, but during the same Q&A over on Reddit, which we have an article up on the site if you want to go check that out, NVIDIA's Director of GeForce Product Management, Justin Walker, shared additional FPS numbers for the GeForce RTX 3080 graphics card. Now, answering to whether the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080 with its 10 gigabyte memory would be sufficient for to run next generation AAA titles, Justin replied that the goal of their next flagship is to provide great performance at up to 4K resolutions with all settings cranked to the max. Now, Justin even shared some game examples where he mentions that the GeForce RTX 3080 is able to deliver 60 to 100 FPS in several AAA titles at 4K with everything maxed out, high resolution textures and RTX on where applicable. Now, the titles mentioned include Shadow of the Tomb Raider, Assassin's Creed Odyssey, Wolfenstein Youngblood, Gears of War 5, Borderlands 3, Metro Exodus, and Red Dead Redemption 2. At least three of these titles mentioned were utilizing NVIDIA's RTX feature sets. Those titles are Metro Exodus, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, and Wolfenstein Youngblood. Now starting with Metro Exodus, in our own testing delivered around 47 FPS with an RTX 2080 Ti with RTX enabled at the Ultra preset without any of the Gameworks features enabled. Considering that Nvidia says they have everything maxed out, including Gameworks effects, a 60 plus FPS performance is a stellar increase. Nvidia does not mention whether they use DLSS or not, but are testing without DLSS enabled and at native 4K res. Now moving on to Shadow of the Tomb Raider, the game was once again tested at Ultra settings here, our RTX 2080 Ti delivers around 55 FPS on average with the Ultra preset and DLSS enabled. Now, the percentile performance is around 44 FPS on average, and we don't know what the exact FPS for the RTX 3080 is, but it could hover around 70 to 80 FPS, which makes a 45% performance increase over the RTX 2080 Ti, or a 90% jump over the RTX 2080, which would be simply incredible. For Wolfenstein Youngblood, the performance max settings is around 55 FPS with RTX on, about 80 FPS to 85 FPS with DLSS enabled. RTX 3080, we get the same 40 to 50% performance jump over the RTX 2080 Ti, which is seeing in other titles, we get around 100 plus FPS with the same settings. Overall, the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080 is looking like a fantastic graphics card for 4K gaming, and even more fantastic price of just $699. There aren't any detailed performance numbers that NVIDIA is sharing right now, but from what we've seen showcase, the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3070 is faster than an RTX 2080 Ti. The NVIDIA RTX 3080 is a good bit ahead of the RTX 2080 Ti, and the RTX 3090 is about as much as 50% faster than the 2080 Ti, which is pretty impressive for the full lineup. The NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080 itself is twice as fast as the RTX 2080 at times and is considerably faster than the RTX 2080 Ti, making it a perfect 60fps 4K gaming graphics card. Hopefully we'll find out more soon. For more on this and other news, follow the link in the description and make sure you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so that we don't miss you in the next one.